Hello and happy end of 2022. I'm kind of a New Year's person, so I'm pretty excited about the new start coming up. And one thing I wanted to do at the end of the year here is revisit the writing goals from this year before we get into our new ones for 2023. So I'm going to just walk through our five goals real quickly, the goals we had for this year, and kind of see how I did. And I would encourage you, if you're listening along, to think about how you did on those goals too. And then I'll be back in a few. Few days in January with goals for our new year. Okay, goal number five from last year was say only what you need to. Now, I will confess, this is the goal that I did the worst on.、Um, yes, I do teach being concise, and yet I know that my gut instinct is to explain. And so I have to hold back quite a bit. What helped me this year actually was hearing stories. From the students,、um, the participants in my workshops who've said, Oh my gosh, I over explained and this is what happened. <clears throat> I gave too much information and this is why that didn't work. So I've taken that in. Now, the best way to improve your writing is to think about it and talk about it. Articulate what's going on. Where are you at with your writing? We want to be aware, right? So, with this one, I heard others articulate their mistakes of saying more than they needed to. And it's helped me to really start coaching myself. Hey, Erin, if you want to say those five things, maybe today your reader only needs the first two. Think about what our reader needs, right? As always, and say only what that person needs in order to use what we've written. Goal number four, I feel like I did a little bit better with this than with goal number five, and I'm still looking for more strategies for doing it. So here's the deal we all need to write directly and concisely because pretty much all of our readers are busy. We need to respect their time. But at the same time, we don't want to go overboard with the directness to where we don't feel friendly anymore. So it's a balancing act, like so many things in writing. My best strategy for this year that helped To me, the most was to focus on my verbs. The verbs are where you can put in some tone. So instead of saying we request your information or we request your opinion, we can change it to we welcome your opinion. So usually you can write a wonderful, concise sentence and then go back and just change out the verbs. From colder sounding verbs to warmer sounding verbs, like instead of we request, we invite, or we welcome. Goal number three order content by reader interest. I did all right with this one this year, and you know how I learned to do this was from the weather. I work with so many people in different states and countries, and we all have different issues going on with weather and climate change. And I started to realize if I was speaking to or writing to somebody around me, around Northern California, maybe if we were talking about weather or climate change, we would talk about fires. But when I speak to people out in Florida, others on the East Coast, others around the world, I'm much more often talking about floods or hurricanes and putting that kind of information sooner in my writing. And so we really do want to think if I'm going to say, again, like these five things, probably the first one should be the one our reader cares about most. Not necessarily the one that we care about most, but the one that they care about most. Okay, two more goals, and I think these two go together. And I'll let you know, by the way, if you didn't get to watch the full video of goals for this year where I explain everything <clears throat> about how to do it, this video will naturally lead into that one. So if you stick around, you'll get that review right after this. Goal number two be a person. And I'll let you know something about the 2023 goals. We'll come back to this as well because I think we're all still working on how can I be clear, concise, professional, direct, but still sound like me and still be authentic. I'm finding ways to do this、um, to still sound professional, but put in maybe some tone that fits with who I am as a person. So if you're humorous, you're curious, you're optimistic, you're collaborative, it's okay for some of those traits to shine through. And stick around、um, in January because I'm going to talk a lot about how we can try to bring authenticity and sound real while still being very clear and respecting our readers' time. Okay, and goal number one from 2022, speaking of people and humans, remember there's another one out there the person reading what you wrote. I think it's easy with writing as opposed to speaking to kind of forget 
about the human being who's over there kind of going like, whoa, that's what they said, right? We've got a person having emotional reactions to what we say. And we'll get a lot more um, tips about sort of writing with emotional intelligence in the 2023 goals. But we always want to keep in mind, and what I even try to do is imagine that person opening my email or whatever it is. Do they have what they need? And does the tone sound like I'm connecting with a real human? Okay, so those are our goals. Stick around <clears throat> with the channel. I'll be back in just a few days with our new goals for the year. Thank you so much for working with me um, and learning with me.